Good day. Kudzai Olokani speaking here. Uh, this is just um, one of the first steps on um, understanding how fundamentals works. How fundamentals work. Okay. So, what I'm going to do right now is uh, we've already shared in the in the group, uh, I think last week or this week, is uh, everyone you have to have uh, the investing.com app. So, I'm just going to show you how to navigate and understand it better. Okay, so you can go to your Play Store, that is if you're using Android. And if you're using iPhone, it's um, it's what? I forgot the name. So, um, here I'm going to type investing. Investing that come up just like this so as you can see I already have it so I need to update but we'll do that some other time okay so it's I already have it if you don't have it just click download after after typing investing that come up okay so now I have to go to the app since I already have it then I'll just type here investing okay then from there, it's going to present me with, okay, this is just an advert. Okay, it's supposed to present me with this account you need to sign up. Okay. All right, as you can see, this is my account. Okay, I registered with, uh, with Gmail. You can even use like the Facebook plugin. Okay, then you go to the calendar here. Okay, we use the calendar. Uh, you can also check the latest news and everything just for you to get to see what we have, what's will be happening in the um, economic sector like all over the world. Okay, so you click on calendar. That's where we're focusing on. Then you click here. Here. Okay. Okay, on the future. So you need to make sure that uh, you are using high. Don't select medium. Don't select low. If you do select medium and low, it's going to take you to this. It will give you even like some of the news that we don't even like need to focus on because we only want to focus on the most powerful ones. Okay. So you come back here, remove this and remove this. Then you'll be left with the very high volatile news only. Okay. There you go. You see now after filtering, I'm only left with three events for today. Okay. So that's what you need to do. And um, this was this week. These were the events. I still remember mentioning in the group that we have three powerful events. One of them was the, um, the RBA meeting minutes, Australian dollar, Reserve Bank of Australia. Okay. Then um, claim and count change. I didn't check if this really moved. But uh, the most powerful one that I was referring to is RBA. And um, core CPI is also good. And the interest rate, the Fed interest rate. No, old employment change, old employment change in NSD. These are the, these are guaranteed, these are guaranteed to move. You know, these are guaranteed to move. Okay, uh, so that's what you need to do. When I say we have events, I'll be um, specifically. Uh, referring to these events okay and I'm seeing two here okay strictly three events strictly three bulls strictly three bulls then next week uh, next week um, the red statement uh, doesn't move what is gonna move is the um, interest rate decision for the New Zealand dollar Reserve Bank of New Zealand this one is going to make you or blow you on the 23rd of um, next week. I'll remember to put uh, a, um, a reminder. Okay, so like next week is just this one. That would definitely move. Okay. The NSD. Okay, you can also put in alert so that um, 
okay you can put an alert so that it reminds you 15 minutes before but basically when i'm personally looking at news i need to put at least 60 minutes before so that i start analyzing at least anything that has to do with the new zealand dollar nsd usd you know okay so this is just the intro okay just um, check it out and get back to me if you have any questions all right that's all for now we'll upload another one